Hello and welcome back to No Man's Sky. This is Alon Paul and we're going to be doing a little more, one more if you will, at least. This last one is going to be epilogue number two, in which case we're going to try to get ourselves a freighter. I'm hoping for a pirate dreadnought. I think that would be pretty cool. So we're going to be uh, attempting to get this pirate dreadnought on our own and uh, we may be editing this video just a little bit because I don't know how long this is gonna take so let's go ahead and get started shall we off we go alright so that's how we're gonna do this we're gonna get a pirate dreadnought that's the next swing freighter or pirate dreadnought and then after that we're gonna have one more episode regarding settlements and that will be probably down the road a ways we're gonna show you how settlements work that kind of thing and how it goes to be or how it how it comes to be so anyway let's see what we're going to do here i'm going to go to this system here we have a restore point now and hopefully it'll spark a freighter battle which should have a dreadnought in it nope no freighter battle so what we're going to do is go to another pirate system. Now I like that one over there. That one's fine. But I'd like to find another because this one that we're in right now is an F7 system. I'd like to find one similar to that that is also highly rated. Oh, there's one. F6 Corvax. All right, let's do that one. On a Josh. And we'll go back and forth between this F6 and F7 system <clears throat> and see if we can get ourselves a pirate freighter. Dreadnought. That would be so cool, wouldn't it? Again, we're in permadeath, so this is going to be a tough battle. Not happening here. So, off we go. How are we doing on the charge? We're doing perfectly fine. Let's go ahead and head back to the same system we were at. And we're just going to continue to go back and forth. Off we go. Let's hope we make it this time. Still nothing. Wow, we just don't have the luck that we need here. Back we go. Wow. What we should do is just go from pirate system to pirate system. Maybe that's what we'll do. We'll make it, we'll change it up a little bit. So let's start looking for pirate controlled systems. Here's one. It's an F4, but it's worth a shot. Let's give it a shot. Until we can find ourselves a system that actually has a battle going on. Nothing going on here. Looks like we got another jump or two left in our system.
And we're gonna take a good close look around and look for more pirates. We don't have to stick to the local neighborhood, too. We can go elsewhere. And we don't have to also look for any other stars. We can look for blue star systems, green star systems, pirate controlled, and a red star system to boot. Let's give it a shot. It's an M2. I don't even know what that is. I know what the F systems are, but M's different. Don't see a fight going on, that's for sure. I'm curious about that planet in front of me. A redacted planet. <laughs> see if we have one more jump left on us. Yep, we do. Okay. Whoop, pirate controlled. Where'd it go? Right there. An O5. Why not? Not sure what 05 is either. That's new new one for me too. Okay, any second? Nope, still nothing. This is what happened on my jump to the center. I think we have another jump left before we have to recharge. Actually, we should recharge now, now that I think about it, because I forgot they take, uh, they get more expensive. I have to use two to recharge it. All right, let's see. Doo-doo-doo. Do, 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 do. This is the hard part, is finding a system. You have to look closely at every single star you point at. Oh, there's one. It's an F8 system. Lots of planets. Let's see what we get. Okay. Hope for battle. We haven't had a freighter battle in so long, I'm not even sure what it's like anymore. So let's stop at the space station here since it's literally right here and just give a save point real fast. It has been auto-saving, I know that much, but it's good to have an, a restore point at some point. Off we go. Pirate controlled, Viking this time. It's an F9 system, so it's a higher economy, from what I understand, on those. Mm, still nothing. Don't know why I keep doing that. It's probably just out of habit that I select a path because of the speed runs we do. Oh, there's one. It's an F3 system, but I'm willing to check it out. 
So that's how that works. So 10 minutes in, we've jumped about 15 systems and we still don't have anything in regards to a freighter battle. Okay. Very odd. Say I did it again. Just have it. Let's go over here. Towards Galactic Center. Maybe if we go to the Euclid Galaxy. Let's do that. We are in Eisenton, which is by nature a very... Um... Peaceful if you will, galaxy. So let's try to go into the Euclid, which is a very standard galaxy, and see what we can find over there. So what we need to do is we can go to usually one of our bases at the very least. In Euclid. Yeah, <laughs> too cold base. And it's actually in a pirate system. Go figure. Alright, let's go there. Now, we do need to have the three-hour limit made, so I'm not sure why, but very odd. So, I have my uh, base here. Fascinating. It's been a while since this has been fueled up. There we go. Okay, so now we're in Euclid. Let's go back out of here. And let's try triggering. Now, I've had my game open for quite a while. So there's a good chance it's been at least three hours. So let's go find a pirate system, shall we? Now, we're in one. Nope, we're not in a pirate system, but we're about to be in one, so... Looks like looking at all the places we've been to around here, huh? Fascinating. Pirate controlled. The G2 system, so this is a different star. Let's go ahead and head over. Sooner or later we will get the trigger. Okay, next system. Uh, let's see, let's go this way. And remember to check all the systems because all the star systems can have the ability to be a pirate system. Oop, wait a minute, what's that? Just data unavailable. Okay, that's a unmarked system. That's interesting. Probably with an abandoned space station as well. Wow, look at all these places here, and not one of these is pirate. Nope, there's one, finally. G4. Let's check it out.
but we'll see what happens here. I'm going to keep this recording going for just a little bit longer. So, we're going to go after that Sentinel Dreadnought now. It has been a whopping three hours, and as you can see, we're on a planet still in the Eisentum galaxy, but we're on our planet. So what we're going to do is we're going to take off, and being that it's over three hours, we're going to head to a pirate system. So here we go. So there's our planet. Now we need to choose one that is a pirate system. And we're going to get rid of that. Free explore. There we go. Okay. We're bouncing around too much. So let's go out this way and start checking out systems. And we're going to find a new pirate system that we haven't been to yet. Doesn't make a difference what color the planet is. Okay, F9. That's a pretty decent sized system. It's only got a couple planets at it. Uh, pirate controlled, high voltage, black market, F9. Let's do this. Let's see if it triggers a Sentinel battle, being that it's been over three hours now since I started playing. How about you? It is in so many ways, completely devoid of pirates. <laughs> or a freighter battle, for that matter. There we go. Re-explore. Let's look for one other system. Maybe we'll jump back to this one when we find something else. But we want to find another pirate system, because that is where the dreadnoughts appear. Oop, pirate controlled right there, F2. I'd like to get something a little heftier, though. Heftier? Is that a good word? Not sure. And I'm looking very carefully at these. I know it looks like I'm flitting through them pretty quick. And I'm sure I'm going to pass by them in a rather spectacular way. Oop. Pirate controlled F7. Let's do that one. I don't know how many jumps. I think it'll take at least three or five jumps, but we'll see what happens. Still no battle. Okay, off we go. What was that? Nope, that wasn't it. Oh, pirate. There it was. Pirate system. There we go. F3. I'm not too keen on F3 systems. Oh, there's another one. Hold on. F2. Bigger system, but not it. I kind of wish, besides saying pirate controlled, if it would give us a rating on the danger of the system itself. F2. Go over this way. Right there. F7. That'll do. Ooh, big system, too. So this will be, what, our third jump? I'm not sure if it takes three jumps or five, but I think it's our third jump is when it will kick in. Anytime now. 
Still nothing. Okay. So maybe it is five jumps. We'll see what happens here. Sometimes we find pirate systems all clustered around each other. Whoop, there's one. F3 dissonant. Let's go ahead and go. I want to get a couple more systems under our belt. This will be jump four. Again, it's been over three hours now. So we should find something. There we go. Still nothing. So this is it. Why do I have something communicating with me? Okay, so apparently my settlement just has, has a problem. Okay, we will check that out in a minute. We're still going after our Dreadnought, so they will have to wait. Our poor little Vikings are going to have to wait. Oop, right there. F5, nice, nicely rounded little middle, middling one. Let's see what happens. This will be our fifth jump. Anytime. And yet still nothing. So I don't know if the freighter battles are broken. But I can't seem to get a freighter battle to save my life lately. That doesn't make any sense. I know. Freighter battle to save my life. I'm desperate. Let's head to the F2 system. And still yet nothing. Blue Star 04 Dissonant. Got everything. Really curious as to why we can't seem to get ourselves a dreadnought here. Still nothing. F7 system this time. And we're on the 7th or 8th jump now. Oop. No. Nothing. I saw a flash there and I thought maybe, just maybe. So we're going to land in the outlaw station real quick.
let's see if we can find something here. Oop, there was pirate right there. And an F9 system to boot. Water system as well. Let's see what we got. Still nothing. So, something tells me that we're having a little trouble with freighter battles spawning up now. We'll try one more system and then we're going to call it. So we're going to park at the space station, and I'm going to continue searching. And then I will start as soon as I come across a freighter battle. Of course, I had to find a space station with the deepest throat in the world. And there we go. All right, folks. We'll see you very shortly. This will be just a delay for you, and it'll be a long time for me, I suspect. So we find ourselves in a freighter battle, but it is not... It is not, I repeat, a dreadnought battle. So, we are going to take these guys out. Can I shoot him? There we go. What we're going to do is we're going to take this. And as while we want to accept this freighter, I think we want to reload and see if we can't come at it again. And let's see what happens. Hopefully we'll get it this time. Now, I'm not sure where it reloaded. But we'll find out. Okay. So it came in at the exact same spot of the battle. Where we appeared in the system. So I'm going to see what happens if I reload a little further back. You see there's a big difference in the restore point. So let's see what happens here. This is probably going to be on a planet elsewhere. I'm very surprised it didn't have an autosave before then. Although that was the autosave now, wasn't it? Interesting. Guess we've learned something new today. Always do. So the key is this, we want to find a Dreadnought battle. 
So there's our restore point one more time. So I have to do this first. There we go. So, saving my settlement yet again while we wait, we're going to go after a dreadnought. Wow, I defeated 70 starships. While well, on a planet, somehow. Alright, so my... thing I'm building is over there, but we want to get in and out of our ship. That's what we're going to do. And make a restore point. There we go. Now let's go ahead and go. So we know our next battle is going to be a freighter battle. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose a system. And let's see what we got here. We want a system that is a pirate system. There's one. And a system at F9. Let's go ahead and get that one. Let's see what happens. So this looks like it'll be our pirate battle. And let's see how it goes. And yet this time no pirate battle. Interesting. Dare I say, here we go again. That is an F7 pirate system. Let's go ahead there. And we'll always come, we can come back to this one. Nothing. Very, very odd. What's our charge at? Okay. Let's go to this one. Now, I don't know if the 20 minutes difference in save time makes the difference, but I guess we'll find out. And it might. There's one I haven't been to yet. Let's try Satsuki and see what it has to show us. Hmm. Very interesting. So definitely it's got to be three hours of actual in-game play time. You can't be an escape menu or anything like that.
I know those two systems over there. Try this one now. Now, if there's nothing here, what we're going to do is we're going to land at the space station anyway and just land and get back out again. And we have an atlas. I didn't know there would be an atlas station here. So we'll go ahead and land here and leave here. And use it as a staging point. Oop, wrong way. There we go. So apparently we have a pretty powerful ship here. The guns on it are turning sentinel, uh, pardon me, pirate ships into uh, dust rather quickly, melting through them. Yeah, look at that. Hmm, now it tells me. <laughs> Let's head this way just a little bit and look for something else. I don't think we've checked this area of space out. Yeah, we have. There's this one. We've been there. want to do something different this time. And if you look quick enough, you'll find one that's pirate controlled. Again, I'm not worried about the F system at this point. I just want to find my way to a system. And we'll see how it goes. At some point, we should get another freighter battle. The fact that we just got one just a little bit ago tells me that there's hope. We don't have to wait another three hours. We should just be able to go to another system. I know it's hard to see all the systems as they flip past, but when you know what you're looking for, you can see it rather quickly. I did see it. There it is. So, we have literally been to dozens of pirate systems at this point. Looking for that one bit. Hopefully we'll find it. So we're going to do another quick landing at a space station real fast. And then we're going to create a save point, of course, and then we're going to go ahead and proceed on. Ah, good. Short one.
and not a lot of talking because obviously there's nothing really to discuss while we're looking. But I do like to keep try to keep a running dialogue, that is. Whoop. There we go. Now, as soon as we pop up here, because we have a save point, if we have a freighter battle or a dreadnought battle, which would be fantastic, that will be good. But any system we go to from that save point would be just that kind of battle. I could have swore I saw it, but must have been seeing something else. Hmm. Nope, still nothing. Fascinating. So it's almost like I have jinxed the system into thinking that I can't do it anymore. I've wrecked it. Broken it. So what I may have to do is I may reload. Which I don't know if it'll restart the clock or not, but I think it will. Hmm, it's a nice library of space, lots of stars. Experimental technology. So we got an F9 and an F8 system right next to each other that are pirate systems. What we may do is just start bouncing back and forth between them. Six. So we have three systems? Fascinating. There's the F8. Okay. So if we don't get a dreadnought battle here, we'll go ahead and park at the space station. Three systems right in line with each other. I think that'll be a good idea. Still nothing. Ah, good. Relatively short tunnel. Okay, we now have a restore point. Let's go. And we'll go to the third system, which was right there. And it happens to be a green star as well, which makes it a little more unusual. Let's see what we end up with. Of course, nothing.
Okay, nothing there. Back to hyperspace. We're going to go to the third one. So, as you can see, we have a freighter battle, but it is not a dreadnought battle, as you can see. Just a regular battle of freighters. So what we're going to do is we're going to reload from the last point and try this again. Apparently I had to spend some time on a planet... Just sitting there waiting before I could spark another greater battle. There we go. So that system had a regular freighter battle. We're going to go to a different system here. So instead of Onumazu, we're going to go to this one over here. Anawar. Anawar. And see what happens when we get here. See if we can get a, if we can get the uh, dreadnought battle that we're looking for. There we go. Again, looks like another regular freighter battle, and not the dreadnought battle. Let me just see what this freighter looks like, because it is the shape and style I like. Ooh. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and do this one. Because. I like this freighter a lot. See if I can get him away from the freighter before I get him. Take him out. Done. Whoop. Right there. Got a second one. Let's see if we can get the third one. As long as they're not at the freighter, we should be able to take them out. Um, I don't know why it had me aim at the freighter there. And two down. Get these guys. Oh, I'm going to go after him first. I'm not sure why that won't. There we go. That was weird. Like it wanted to sit there behind my ship and hang out for a while. I don't know why the aiming was off on that. Weird. It's like it, the guns can't hit them for some reason, unless we're on the right angle. Okay, so we like this ship, and we're going to take it. And then what we're going to do is then go after a Dreadnought after this. It's not the largest one they make, I don't think. But it's pretty darn close. And it may just be a C-Class, but we're not going to upgrade this ship at all. What milestone did I accomplish? I got another 70 starships again, apparently. This is a C-Class, go figure. 
really thought it would be at least an A-class, but that's okay. We are going to take it so that we have one. And how much money do we have? 117 million. We're going to need quite a bit more in order to get the class ship I want. So there it is, and we're going to go ahead and take it. This is now our freighter. So. Now this is the build zone area, so I like to usually put a save point here, which I don't have apparently on my person. Yep, we have no save points we can put down, so we're going to have to call here and use our ship as a save point. And there we go. So we'll come back when we find a Dreadnought. Welcome back to No Man's Sky, and we are on another Dreadnought search. So we have finally got ourselves an actual freighter. Uh, to show you that real quick, that's the wrong button as usual. Here's the freighter that we ended up with. I love this type of style of freighter right here. Um, always loved the Star Destroyer looking style, the little arrow shaped ones. They're really, really cool as far as I'm concerned. This is my favorite type. However, C class, I wasn't really concerned about trying to find a BA or S class. What I'm looking for is the Dreadnought. And one of my viewers, one of the people who have left a comment on one of my videos, mentioned that in order to get a Dreadnought, you have to have an actual regular freighter to begin with. So that's what we're starting with here. I'm going to ignore messages on the bottom of my screen because I've got some other things that are going on in the background. So we're going to go ahead and take our ship out of here, and we're going to go search systems for a Dreadnought battle. And that's where we're going to take off from here. So let's go ahead and just try checking things out i'm going to do five quick warp pulses if you will i think our warp drive is up to snuff yes it is and we're just going to jump around and i'm going to check out these three well the other two star systems here that are pirate systems and we'll see what happens maybe we'll find ourselves a dreadnought battle maybe not we'll see what happens here as we take our first jump now normally you should have to you should be playing the game for a few hours before you should find something, but I'm trying to test a theory out in that I think it has to do with how many jumps you've made, and it should be like every fifth jump or so you should get this. Let's just see what happens here. And we have a Dreadnought battle. Look at that. So here we go, folks. So I'm going to go back into first person. Good. Got our weapons ready. First thing we want to do is fly in through the shields and take out the engines. One. Two. Three. And four. So their warp is disabled. Now we just got to take out their guns. Again, we got to be inside the, the, the shield. So we want to take out the cannons. One, two, there should be a third gun right here, three, wow, these are some big guns, four, and we should go after the other one. Oh, hello, too close. Five, okay, there we go. And there should be a couple more, got to watch my shields here. I think that's it. Did we miss a gun? I think we might have missed a gun someplace. There we go. So they have signaled surrender. So let's go ahead and jump on board. Check this one out. Now I don't know what class of ship this is going to be. Could end up being a C class as well. We'll see what happens. Alright, we'll take a look here. It is also a C-Class. I'm not too concerned about getting an S-Class at this point. I just want to get myself a Dreadnought Freighter, and we'll see how this works out here. Yeah, I'm really liking this a lot. My main save will go a little bit further with it. 
This is really, really cool. All right, so the captain is up here. Let's go talk to him. The pirate commander begs for mercy. I may name my price. So if we seize the dreadnought, it's ours. We get rid of our freighter. So let's seize the dreadnought. And there it is. So we're going to go ahead and take this dreadnought, and this is now going to be my main freighter that we'll be working with. So there's our current, there's our new, we can move stuff over if we wish, but there's really nothing to really move over here. We do have an interstellar scanner. That's interesting. We may want to pull that out first. Can I pull it in? I guess I can't. Okay, well, we'll live without it. That's okay. So, i got to remember to do that some other time on my main save, so I've learned something new. So we're going to go ahead and claim the freighter. Yes, we want to transfer everything over. This is now our freighter. So, congratulations to me. And we now have a freighter base with everything in it. This is our trade computer, I believe. Yes, black market terminal, it says. Which is very interesting. Um, things to plant plants in. Ooh, planetary probe. That's great. So now we can scan all the planets in a system. Very cool. Got some nice stuff here. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And we'll work our way down here. Now, getting a pirate freighter, as long as you can find one, is fairly easy. So, claiming one doesn't seem to be too hard. That was not difficult at all. I'm kind of surprised at how easy it was, to be honest with you, with the right guns. But, but there we go. All right. So, that should do it. We now have ourselves a pirate freighter. So I'm really excited about this. Look at this. This thing is pretty freaking cool, to be honest with you. Now, there's been some speculation or some issues with uh, being able to restore. I'm going to restore it here. I'm just going to pull it in and just make sure everything stays the same. But I think it, this is only on certain consoles that it was having trouble that your pirate freighter would revert back inside appearance, would revert back to your old freighter. So we'll see what happens here. Okay. So far, so good. Here, looks fine. And it looks like all my ships are present as well, you notice. I've only got three, so nothing to worry about there. And, yep, everything's still the same. Good deal. All right, so we're in pretty good shape here. Now, one thing I always like to do uh, in the corridor leading to the uh, repair area, or to the area that is going to be... Oh, that's interesting. We take a look in there real fast. Ah, oh, look at that. Okay, this is all interconnected. Oh, this goes right back down. Cool. Nice. So anyway, so here's your build area. This is where, where all your stuff is. I usually like to put something right here, if I can make it. Yeah, I do not have access to it just yet. I usually like to put a save point right there. Because it just makes it easier, but I don't have the ability to make a save point here. So the only way to save the game is jumping in and out of my ship right now. So we will get more things as we go by. And I will upgrade the freighter. But that's going to just be for another time on my pleasant little own, if you will. So we're going to call the freighter, the Dreadnought Freighter Search, completed. A lot easier than I expected. Um, didn't really... Uh, seem to have too much trouble with this. So we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. I want to thank you all for watching. It's a compilation of several different uh, saves, as you saw, several different uh, episodes that I put together and compiled into one. So please hit the like and subscribe, and we will see you guys on the settlement version of the videos as well, because we have the settlements to, fin to finish up. Plus one more thing that we just got added in, which is the... Um, a trace of metal. So we'll go ahead and run through that as another epilogue, and that should take care of things. All right, folks, take care, and we'll see you in the next time. Take care.